Hi, so in a previous video we took one of these things, which is a PC fan, and turned it into a wind generator. I'll put a link to that video in the description because it's got everything that we did with the electronics, what the wiring we did and how to make the bridge rectifier, it's all in there. Um, we did that because obviously the PC fan has got fan blades on it and if you blow on it or you get it into the wind it will just spin all by itself. But it's a bit limiting if you think about it because all you can do with it is a wind generator. And what would be really cool is if we could connect directly to this thing. Now that represents a challenge all in its own because um, to do something like that what you need to do is to be able to make cogs and to centre everything and, and with average machinery that's really quite difficult to do. Now I was looking at this which is my Hiscock. Uh, Hiscox has a book out I think it was written in 1899 called Mechanical Movements, Devices and Appliances and it's just jam-packed full of ideas on how to um, make various mechanisms that you might want to to do various jobs. It's a really cool book and it's one of those that I kind of refer to quite a lot. Anyway, I came across this idea and it's this that I want to share with you because in, in interfacing with something like that, centering everything and making the gears is an absolute nightmare. It's quite tricky to do and it's quite difficult to do and I was looking for a really, really simple way of making gears. And I came across it, which is just awesome. Have you seen this stuff? And I'm sure you've seen this stuff. It's tooth belt. You get in all kinds of sizes, uh, all kinds of tooth pitch, and they use it an awful lot for um, things like CNC and um, 3D printers and all that kind of stuff. So it's really readily available. You can get a roll like that off eBay for just a few pounds. And um, that's quite a fine tooth. The one I used was this one, which is quite a, a um, large tooth, large pitch. And all you do with that is take it and wrap it around the centerpiece. So I've taken the centerpiece out of here and I've glued a bit of this to it. And what we've actually done is make that a cog. And I thought that was awesome. So awesome I thought I really had to share it. Now obviously when you've made it a cog, what you want to do, and ta-da, <laughs> is make a load of cogs. So here we have a variety of sizes of cogs interfacing with this bit here. This bit here is the central generation portion of a PC fan. So what we've done is turn a PC fan into a hand crank generator. Now obviously PC fans, they generate the most, the fastest uh, they turn. So you need to turn them quickly, really. Um, so if you have big cog to little cog, big cog to little cog, you'll get a turn ratio of this in relation to those cog sizes by the number of turns you give that. So if I turn that, then that little thing belts around. So that little thing is now a hand crank generator. But it's not really the hand crank generator I want to share with you. It's actually this cog making mechanism that I want to share with you. Because these are obviously um, bits of builder's board. And I have mentioned this in previous videos as well. It's this PVC coated foam board that you can get from roofline companies, uh, Facier and Soffit, in buy online. Uh, and it's a wonderful material for making stuff. This entire thing is made from this and bits of this and a PC fan. All I did was glue them all together with super glue and drill them out a little bit. So this thing is made out of this. You cut circles from this, which is what's here, glue some of this onto the edge of the circle and you have yourself a cock. It is one of the really easiest ways I've ever come across of making gears. And once you can make gears, of course, you can do different turn ratios and turn it into a hand generator. Anyway, that's enough of me talking about it. Let's have a look at the build. Word of warning, I'm about to play some cheery music. I'm trying to get the volume right. If you can't stand cheery music, mute it. Take your earphones out. But anyway, here is the build.
Oh yeah, from suddenly being a frustrating and time-consuming experience to make gears, this, a piece of cake. Cut some circles from builder's board, glue on some toothed belt and you're away to go. Okay, I've connected this up to the vaults. I haven't put a um, bridge rectifier on it, so it's on AC voltage. And I'm just going to give that a turn and we'll see what we get out of it. Okay, we're getting 2.6 volts. I'm sure we get a, a concurrent amps out of it as well. Uh, the point really is, isn't the generation. The generation's cool, being able to turn a PC fan into a hand crank generator, awesome stuff. The real stuff is this gearing. This gearing is, I think, really exciting, really interesting and very, very useful. So I just wanted to share that with you and share with you how to turn a PC fan into a hand crank generator. Anyway, I hope that was of interest to you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, I hope the music wasn't too irritating, and thank you very much for watching.